Hi everyone, welcome to the Medienstürmer studio in Munich. We are a trusted media partner of OnlyOffice, and I'm Richard, and I will be your host today. Thank you all for joining the webinar on the newly released version 7.5 of OnlyOffice Docs. So, without further ado, let's begin. OnlyOffice Docs comprises editors for text documents, sheets, and slides, along with form creator, PDF viewer, and converter. The suite is available on all platforms, including web, desktop, and mobile. The latest update of OnlyOffice Docs comes with around 35 new features and 15 bug fixes. Version 7.5 is already available in self-hosted solutions, including integrations, OnlyOffice DocSpace, Docs Cloud, and Workspace. You can deploy the editors choosing among multiple installation options, such as DEB, RPM, Docker, Snap, UCS app, CloudDron, AMI, one-click app on DigitalOcean, Vulture, and Linode, Alibaba Cloud Image, and Kubernetes. Ready to explore all the novelties? PDF is an extremely popular file format in business workflow. We often need to open various brochures in PDF, fill in and sign agreements, and contracts from our partners and colleagues, etc. Keeping this in mind, OnlyOffice is working on its native PDF editing tool, which will be convenient for all users. And the moment has come. We present the very first version of OnlyOffice PDF editor, which supports annotations, including text highlight, underline, and strike through, form filling, comments, and drawing. In the next releases, collaborative editing for PDF files will be added as well. This is how it looks like. As you can see, we are able to easily open any PDF file, for example, a sales contract, fill in the required fields, leave a comment to our colleagues, highlight an important sentence with yellow, or leave a freehand mark right in the file. Let's see which new features brings the only Office document editor. Following multiple user requests, especially from the education sector, OnlyOffice added the automatic hyphenation option for text docs. To enable automatic hyphenation, go to the Layout tab. Now you can author documents without having to manually hyphenate words at the end of the line. And when you change the margins, the words will automatically hyphenate when needed. In the hyphenation settings, you can also activate the option to hyphenate words in caps. Define the hyphenation zone, as well as set a limit for consecutive hyphens if necessary. The newly added advanced settings at Document Editor enable smart paragraph selection. If it's activated and the entire paragraph is selected, but without a paragraph symbol, this symbol is automatically added to the selection. To enable smart paragraph selection, go to the File tab, find Advanced Settings, and activate the corresponding checkbox in the Editing and Saving section. For those who use content controls, the working process becomes more comfortable. When you enable and then change the contents of the inserted control element, the control itself will be automatically deleted, but its contents will remain. The same scenario is applied when manually clicking on the Remove Content Control option. Only Office Docs version 7.5 brings multiple enhancements to spreadsheets. Another popular request from Only Office users is fulfilled. When opening CSV files, the last selected settings, like delimiter and encoding, are saved in the local storage, what prevents you from having to change it every time. So we open a CSV file, choose the necessary options, for example, UTF-8 and comma as a delimiter, and our work with the file is over and we save it. Next time when we open the same file, we don't need to adjust the CSV settings again. They are applied automatically. Next new feature for spreadsheets is page break. Insert them to easily divide a worksheet into separate pages for printing. Need to easily check multiple formulas in your sheet? Piece of cake. Go to the formula tab and use the newly added trace precedence and trace dependence option, which graphically display and trace the relationships between cells and formulas with tracer arrows. To hide the displayed relationships, just click the remove arrows option. Customize top and bottom margins in your spreadsheets by adding pictures and logos. In the layout tab, find the header and footer settings, click insert and select the picture you would like to add. Open the print preview and here it is. You'll see the added image. Version 7.5 of OnlyOffice Docs also provides you with improved pivot tables, namely with the ability to set the number format via field settings as well as the Show Details option accessible via the context menu or by double-clicking on the pivot table cell. 
you are now able to move rows and columns with a spreadsheet using drag and drop. Using the show formulas option, it's possible to display the formula in each cell instead of resulting value. The added sort by formula sorts the contents of a range or array based on the values in a corresponding range or array. Moreover, the only Office Spreadsheet Editor now features filters by dates, autocomplete for days of the week and months, and ability to adjust margins for printing using presets. Let's see what's new for the only Office Presentation Editor. First of all, let us introduce you to the redesigned color of the Presentation Editor. Since only Office now also comprises PDF Editor, the developers decided to differentiate its color from the Presentation Editor. And we hope you will find the new coloring pleasant for your eyes. Among new features here, you will find Morph Transition. It allows you to animate smooth movement from one slide to the next. To do so, go to the Transition tab and find Morph among the available transition types. It can be applied to objects, words, and letters. Adjust duration if needed and apply to all slides. Morph also brings the ability to set the object name on the slide to match objects such as shapes and pictures on neighboring slides. The header and footer settings of the presentation editor are now adjusted by our two sections, slider notes and handouts, for more convenient arrangement of the corresponding elements in your presentations. What's more, the presentation editor is extended with the ability to select the slide from which the numbering begins. Ability to quicker add smart arts via a placeholder on the slide, as well as tips for slide placeholders. For a more comfortable user experience, the developers also added further useful improvements in all editors, including screen readers to further enhance the accessibility of only Office Docs. Screen readers render actions which are being made in the editors as speech output, thus facilitating the work process for blind or visually impaired users. For now, screen readers are launched in the beta mode, and you are welcome to send your feedback to the developers. It will greatly help to further improve this functionality. Besides, in all editors you also find the Hide Equation Toolbar option, Edit Points option available in the Shape Context menu and Write Settings panel, Quick access to the most popular and used symbols, Tips for image placeholders in Picture Smart Arts, and the ability to open the editors with the last applied scaling. Well, which new features do you like the most? To download the latest version of the self-hosted online editors from the official website, just scan this QR code and access the download page. Only Office Desktop app, which allows working with all kinds of Office docs on your PC or laptop, was also updated to version 7.5. The application is built on top of the same engine as Only Office Docs, so the newest version comes with the majority of features that are available in the online editors. Among additional enhancements here, you get support for more scaling options, from 225% to 500%. It's also possible to create documents from a local template right from the editors. The extended Open Recent section in the editors now includes files from the app's recent files list, depending on the editor type. If you want to try the updated desktop app yourself, you can always download it from the official website. This QR code will lead you to the download page, where you can find a client for Windows, Linux, and macOS. The source code on the app is also available on GitHub. So, thanks everyone for being with us. We hope you enjoyed the webinar. Try only of a stock 7.5 and share your impressions on social media channels. Your feedback is, as always, much appreciated. Thank you, have a good day, and bye-bye.